Picture this, it's a cozy evening, the TV screen flickers to life, and there, bathed in warm, nostalgic glow, is the 1976 TV series, The Muppet Show. The very first encounter with those whimsical, felt-covered characters was like stumbling into a world where imagination knew no bounds. Remember the joy that surged through you as Kermit the Frog's gentle voice welcomed you to the mayhem of the Muppet Theater. Or the infectious laughter that erupted when Fozzie Bear delivered his groan-worthy jokes. It was a spectacle where chaos and creativity collided a place where felt and foam became living, breathing personalities. For many, The Muppet Show was more than just a television program. It was a doorway to a universe where Muppets, humans, and the absurd coexisted harmoniously. Whether it was Miss Piggy's diva-worthy entrances, Gonzo's outrageous stunts, or the backstage shenanigans orchestrated by the enigmatic Scooter, each episode unfurled a tapestry of humor and heart. As we delve into some surprising and delightful facts about this iconic show, Let's revisit those cherished moments that have carved their place in our hearts. And who knows, you might stumble upon a tidbit that adds a whole new layer to your appreciation of The Muppet Show. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain on the fascinating world of Muppetry. 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 The Muppet Show, a groundbreaking television series that premiered in 1976, was the brainchild of puppeteer Jim Henson. This beloved variety show featured a diverse cast of iconic characters, including Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, and the lovably chaotic animal, among others. The show's format revolved around the backstage antics of these zany Muppets as they put on a weekly variety show. What set The Muppet Show apart was its unique blend of humor, music, and celebrity guest appearances. Henson's innovative puppetry techniques combined with witty, self-referential humor created a show that appealed to both children and adults. Its impact on popular culture was profound, influencing generations of entertainers, and leaving a lasting legacy in the world of puppetry and comedy. The Muppet Show not only entertained but also showcased the power of imagination and the enduring appeal of timeless characters. It remains a beloved classic that continues to bring joy to audiences around the world, proving that the Muppets truly are ageless. In 1976, The Muppet Show took the television world by storm. One interesting aspect of the show is that there is no set broadcast order for the episodes. They were shown in varying orders in different regions. To address this, when the episodes were released on DVD, they were arranged in production order. This same order is used for reference. Additionally, the iconic Mana Mana number, a beloved Muppet moment, was originally performed on The Ed Sullivan Show. This catchy and whimsical performance became a hallmark of Muppet entertainment. During its early days, The Muppet Show faced challenges in getting guest stars for its first season. However, Joel Grey and Vincent Price, who were fans of Jim Henson, were more than happy to be invited to join the Muppet Mayhem. Their appearances added a touch of star power to the show. The Muppet Show remains a beloved classic, known for its humor, creativity, and unforgettable characters. It continues to be cherished by audiences of all ages. In 1976, The Muppet Show became a beloved TV series, and here's an interesting tidbit about it. Statler and Waldorf, the iconic old hecklers in the balcony, were named after two New York City hotels. Jim Henson, the show's creator, took inspiration from professors he had during his time at the University of Maryland to create these characters. Waldorf's wife was named Asteria, a nod to the famous Waldorf Asteria Hotel. This connection to New York's hotels added a touch of humor to the characters and reflected Henson's creative influences. Guest stars on the show often had the chance to interact with Muppets, and two of the most requested ones were Miss Piggy and Animal. However, it was appreciated when guest stars chose lesser-known Muppets, as it allowed for fresher material. For instance, when Gene Stapleton performed with Crazy Harry, it brought a unique dynamic to the show and showcased the versatility of the Muppet ensemble. And if you ever wondered about the mysterious one-eyed cat that hung out backstage, it was named Gaffer, the backstage cat. This feline character added a quirky element to the behind-the-scenes world of The Muppet Show. So, there you have it, a glimpse into some interesting facts about The Muppet Show from 1976. It's a testament to the show's enduring appeal and the creative genius of Jim Henson. The Muppet Show's costly Vendaface sketches The Muppet Show, which debuted in 1976, is beloved for its iconic characters and zany sketches. 
Behind the scenes, however, there were interesting stories, like the one involving Vendaface, a talking vending machine. Vendaface, a violent talking vending machine that usually ended up attacking any Muppet dumb enough to feed it coins, was intended for only one sketch. Surprisingly, it was so expensive that executive producer David Laser insisted it be used for a series of sketches to get the production company's money's worth. This decision wasn't solely about creativity, but economics. The intricate mechanisms that brought Vendaface to life came with a hefty price tag. To maximize their investment, the team decided to feature Vendaface in multiple sketches, which added a touch of chaos and humor to the show. In the end, this financial maneuver paid off, as Vendaface became a memorable and often hilarious part of the Muppet Show's repertoire, demonstrating how creativity and cost consciousness sometimes go hand in hand in the world of television production. So, the next time you watch The Muppet Show and see Vendaface in action, remember that it wasn't just about entertainment. It was also about making sound financial decisions behind the scenes. And that's a little known fact about The Muppet Show from 1976. 76, 76. The Muppet Show's guest stars, a look back in 1976, The Muppet Show burst onto television screens, entertaining audiences with its delightful mix of puppetry, humor, and celebrity guest appearances. Amid the show's rich history, some intriguing details about its guest stars have come to light. One notable fact is that Frank Oz, the talented puppeteer behind characters like Miss Piggy and Fozzie Bear, is often mistakenly believed to have inspired Fozzie Bear's name. However, most Muppet insiders reveal that Foz's moniker actually pays homage to Muppet designer and builder Faz Fazakas. This piece of Muppet trivia highlights the collaborative nature of the show's creation, where the contributions of many talented individuals shaped its iconic characters. When it comes to guest stars, The Muppet Show featured a wide range of famous faces, from comedians to musicians and actors. George Burns, born on January 20, 1896, holds the distinction of being the series' earliest born guest star. On the flip side, Senator Wences, born on April 17, 1896, was the oldest guest star when he appeared on the show in 1980 at the age of 84. These two veterans brought a wealth of experience to the Muppet stage. In contrast, the series also welcomed young talent, and 14-year-old Brooke Shields holds the title of the youngest guest star in the show's history. Her appearance showcased the show's ability to appeal to audiences of all ages. A more poignant aspect of the show's history is the longevity of some of its guest stars. Three remarkable individuals lived to be 100 years old or more after gracing the Muppet stage. George Burns, the beloved comedian, passed away on March 9, 1996, at the age of 100. Senator Wences, known for his ventriloquism skills, lived to the impressive age of 103, passing away on April 20, 1999. Bob Hope, the legendary entertainer, also reached the century mark, departing on July 27, 2003, at the age of 100. These enduring performers left an indelible mark on The Muppet Show and the entertainment world. In retrospect, The Muppet Show not only brought laughter and joy, but also created lasting connections with its guest stars, some of whom lived to see their centenary. It remains a cherished part of television history, celebrating the talents of both Muppeteers and their illustrious guest stars. In 1978, The Muppet Show received a prestigious Peabody Award, recognizing it as one of the most powerful, enlightening, and invigorating stories on television. Initially, the show's producers planned to create Muppet versions of each guest star. You can spot these early Muppet versions during the guest star's bows in the early episodes. However, this practice was abandoned after the third episode. The Swedish chef, a beloved Muppet character, is rumored to be inspired by a real-life Swedish cook named Lars Backman. He made a single, disastrous appearance on television, mumbling a bizarre mix of English and Swedish while hurriedly preparing food. Some believed that the show's producers found this hilarious and based the Swedish chef on Backman. However, it's worth noting that show writer Jerry Jewell refuted this claim suggesting that Backman may have invented the rumor himself. Regardless of the inspiration, Backman reportedly received $80 for the rights to his character, and today, he continues to earn a living with his traveling cooking show in Sweden, known for both his culinary skills and sense of humor. And that's a slice of the Muppet Show history, where creativity and humor brought iconic characters to life on television. Television.
television. In the 1976 TV series, The Muppet Show, most of the songs were specially written for the show. Instead, they came from old comedy albums, vaudeville standards, and British music hall routines. Additionally, several characters got redesigns early in the show. Miss Piggy, for instance, had long hair and a prominent nose at first. But these were changed to shorter, curly hair and a smaller nose. Gonzo's nose was resized, and Fozzie Bear lost his wagging ears and drooping mouth. Notably, Miss Piggy was initially played alternately by Richard Hunt and Frank Oz. However, as her popularity grew, Frank Oz took on the role exclusively. He believed that Piggy's intense and over-the-top personality could only be portrayed by a man. That's some interesting trivia about The Muppet Show from 1976, where the songs were borrowed, characters were redesigned, and Miss Piggy found her iconic performer. 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 As we bring the curtains down on this journey through the vibrant world of The Muppet Show, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. For many of us, this beloved 1976 television series wasn't just a show. It was a window into a world where imagination, laughter, and sheer Muppet mayhem reigned supreme. Perhaps you recall the infectious energy of Kermit the Frog as he struggled to keep his Muppet troop in line, or the zany antics of Miss Piggy, always ready to steal the spotlight. Maybe it was the musical talents of the Electric Mayhem Band that got your toes tapping or the timeless humor of Stadler and Waldorf that left you in stitches. The Muppet Show was a kaleidoscope of characters and moments that touched our hearts and tickled our funny bones. Now, it's your turn. We'd love to hear your thoughts and cherished memories of The Muppet Show. Did it inspire you to pursue a career in the arts, or did you simply find comfort in its familiar faces during difficult times? Share your anecdotes, favorite moments, or the characters who left a lasting impression on you. Let's celebrate the magic that this show brought into our lives. Thank you for taking this trip down Muppet memory lane with us. Your time and interest mean the world, and your stories keep the Muppet legacy alive. So, go ahead, share your Muppet love, and let's keep the spirit of the Muppet show alive for generations to come. Warm regards.